Good morning guys, right, so this morning I am going to talk about goal setting. Now, what I want to say firstly is a lot of people struggle with goal setting because they're not quite sure what it is that they want. So they, they think, well, do you know, it may be a car, maybe it's a holiday, maybe it's just a better quality of life, maybe it's a different career, maybe it's to start my own business, but they've got no real detail and it's the detail that can often derail you or, or certainly stop you in your tracks. So. A better way of doing it for some people, not for everybody, but for some, is to start with the end in mind. And what I mean with this is a vision is something that pulls you, as a goal is something that pushes you. And some people perform better when they're getting pulled than when they're having to push themselves. Now, you can call that motivation, you can call that discipline, you can wrap it up as many different ways as you want, but ultimately, you've got to find the best thing that works for you. Now, when I say a vision, this is something that you can look forward a year, three, five, maybe a decade, and visualize the lifestyle that you want, to, you, you want to be living, the car that you want to be driving, the career or business that you want to be running, and, and then start to work backwards from there. So you start to almost reverse engineer your vision and say, well, if I do this today, it's going to take me closer to that. And if I do that, it's going to take me closer to this. And you reverse engineer things backwards. And for some people, that way of creating a goal works a lot better because it pulls you as opposed to writing down your smart goals, which is your, your you know, your specific, I can't speak, your specific, uh, your measurable, your attainable, your realistic and timeless. For some people, that way may not necessarily work. It does for some, it doesn't for all. It's not one size fits all. Um, now, there is lots of different ways of setting goals, but it's about playing around with the ones that work best for yourself. And I find that for some people, a vision oriented goal is something that will definitely pull you towards it. So maybe give that one a go, give it a try. Leave a comment, leave a comment on the video, email me, message me, tweet me, whatever it is, at John underscore Cove. And let's get together and have a chat. You can book a free call with me to help you on this journey because you don't have to go it alone. And I think that that also produces, or, or presents rather, uh, an issue for a lot of people where they feel that they've got to fight the battle on themselves or by them, you know, on their own. And, and you don't, you don't have to do this by yourself. The, the resources around you are available and, and you know, people are surprisingly helpful when you ask for their help. So don't try to do it on your own. You've got people around you that are more than willing to help you move forward. And this doesn't have to be just about business, you know. This is, this is your life. This is about building a, a better quality of life. And this is, this is something that, why wait until you've got that dream job? Or why wait until you've got that house or that car or that relationship before you decide that you're going to be happy with your life and, and, and build a better quality one? Do you know, you don't have to wait. You don't have to wait for the perfect time. You can do it right now but you've got to visualize it. You've got to visualize it and reverse engineer it. That works for some people. Write down what you want to be in five years, in three years, in a year, in a decade, and then reverse engineer it back and start it from there. You know, I did a post not so long ago and I used booking a holiday as an example of this. So, for example, you, you go book a holiday for two weeks in Mexico. And what do you do? You don't just leave it by chance. You book the time off work, you start to do a savings uh, schedule if you need to get some, you know, if you've not got the money available, you start to save. You then book the taxi or the car park or do you plan the route and the journey and the time it's going to take you to get there. You might go and do some shopping and buy some new clothes. You buy the sun protection cream. You might buy new sunglasses. You plan, don't you? You put a lot of effort into planning this for a holiday that's going to last two weeks. Do you know, you're going to be here for 80, 90, maybe even 100 years but you don't do the same level of planning for your life as you do for your holiday. Just think about that for a second. Just really think about it. So visualize where you want to be in five years, a year, even a year, start on a year, then advance to three, then five, then a decade, then maybe two decades, and then reverse engineer it back from there. And I guarantee that if you set goals, whether that's smart goals, Joe, you know what's very specific, or whether it's a vision-based goal, having a goal will be more beneficial to you than not. Start with the end of mind, reverse engineer, have a good day guys, all the best.